Hello, welcome to Real Juicy News. I've uh, got a stunner for you. Um, I was watching a movie on Put Locker called Gear in a Box about a hitchhiker that was uh, abducted by a couple and uh, yeah, put in a box and abused and all that sort of stuff. And then uh, the wife was religious. It's what this guy's wife was reading the Bible and stuff. She's freaking out now. Um, yeah, she finally convinced this chick to read the Bible with her water. And then um, she finally released the girl, sent her back home. Yeah, it's really good. Um, apparently the guy got 104 years. Maybe it's based on a true story. Anyway, so I was looking around for uh, Walking Dead because yeah, I watched the episode 16 and thought, oh, maybe there's 17, you know. But yeah, I guess there's only 16 here. Um, so, uh, what the hell? Episode 100? I thought, it's got to be a joke, right? Got to be a joke. But it's officially by AMC, so it's called The Walking Dead World Beyond. Okay. And supposedly got all the um, actors like Norman Reedus, Andrew Lincoln, etc. in it, right? Uh, so far, I'm going to watch it, I haven't seen them. I'm not going to play it because that, that'll give me a copy strike, right? On YouTube. And I'm trying to keep a clean, no copy strike record. But yeah, it's officially AMC, as you can see here. It's got the logo. But the problem is it's only like about 44 minutes long. Released in 2019. Okay, I'm trying to figure out why is it after this, right? Because I found this article. I'm trying to work it out. Um, dated October 22nd, 2017. The Walking Dead held its 100th episode on its past. This was an opportunity to really thank the fans and give them something unique. Director Greg Nicotero tells THR about the callbacks of the Season 8 premiere. Warning, this story contains spoilers from the Season 8 premiere. Mercy of AMC's The Walking Dead. Well, we're into the 16th, I know. If the first episode of the new Walking Dead season felt... Well, that's uh, Season 10, Episode 16. If the first episode of the new Walking Dead season felt somehow familiar, don't worry. You're not experiencing experiencing a glitch in the Matrix. The deja vu sensation of revising days gone by, or days gone by, as it were, was very much intentional on part on the part of the show's creative team. The eighth season premiere of the AMC zombie drama called Mercy doubles as the 100th episode of The Walking Dead. It's a huge milestone by any show standard, especially profound not just for the fans who have stuck with the Rick Grimes, Andrew Lincoln gang through thick and thin from the very beginning, yeah I have, but also the cast and crew who have been strapped in since the first season. Yeah I watched uh, from 1 to 16 over a period, of, well 1 to 15 sorry, over a period of months. Um, in that regard, look no further than executive producer Greg Ticatero the legendary special effects wizard responsible for designing the show's iconic zombies as well as one of the series most frequent directors indeed the man behind the lens on mercy to read more the walking dead the 100 greatest moments ranked it really gave us an opportunity to show the audience how far the audience how far we've come to pay tribute to the cast every single cast member who has been on the show from the beginning and every crew member who has worked on the show to go back to where it all started Nicotero tells The Hollywood Reporter about how the first episode of season 8 was designed to honour its past. These, oh, there are these iconic moments that drew the audience in and held their attention when we premiered on Halloween so many years ago in 2010. This was an opportunity to really thank the fans and give them something unique and special. Mm, okay. Some examples of how the 100th episode of Walking Dead knowingly winked at its own history include Carl Grimes, Chandler Riggs, taking a long and lonely walk through the apocalypse and a quiet mission to secure fuel from a gas station. A scene mirrors the very first scene of the entire series in which Rick makes a very similar walk through a gas station, ultimately winding up shooting a small zombified child. In Mercy, Rick once again shoots a young walker but this time it's not a personal trauma, it's second nature at this point. Yeah, he's done it once, do it again, no problem. Later in the episode, Negan, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Father Gabriel Seth Gilliam 
find themselves trapped in a harrowing situation, stuck inside of a trailer on the sanctuary grounds, surrounded by walkers. The aerial view of Negan and Gabriel's predicament echoes the same exact view of Rick, stuck inside of a tank in the middle of Atlanta, the climax of the very first episode of the entire series. Heads up, that's when you met Glenn. Uh, yeah. Contacted him on the radio, I think, and said, hey, dumbass, you in the tank. Um, yeah, and it went on from there. And there's more information there. Read more. The Walking Dead, why Father Gabriel may not be in danger yet. Yeah, yeah some more information. Guess this is uh, Rick here, Andrew Grimes. Kind of looks like uh, Emilio Estevez from Young Guns. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, definitely him. Okay, so there's a parody, parody that you can watch. I'm not going to play it because I'll get copy striking, as I said. I want a clean, no copy strike. No copy strike record. Right, doing okay so far. Um, yeah, some information here, some more information. Why he's not dead yet. Well, he might not be in danger yet. Okay, certainly looks like he's doomed. Showrunner Scott M. Gimple tells THR about one looming casualty following the season A premiere. And yeah, some more information here. Okay, a slideshow. Another slideshow. When. Uh, this guy's name when he was around, his mate. Um, okay, it's all about season eight. Yes, it's quite an old article, yeah, 2017. But yeah, it might be interesting. I had no idea that episode 100 was out. I thought it was a joke, right? Okay, here's an interview, and you can read all this in your own time. I'm gonna read it, I'm reading the whole Bible in an hour, yeah. Couple of years in one video. Um, anyway, blah blah blah. Okay, so yeah, I was thinking it was a joke, some student movie, you know, but it's officially AMC. Right. 44 minutes long, released in 2019, so if it's supposed to be episode 8, or you know, a parody or whatever to episode 8, or tribute, whatever, then shouldn't it be in between 8 and 9? Okay, um, you could probably go and look at 8 and see if it's similar to that one to this one here right whatever they're talking about okay yeah so uh, I'll leave the link to it uh, underneath this video and also to the article and if you like this short video then uh, please do the right thing and honor us yeah, say thanks we love you give us a like share it right leave your comments down below a thumbs up um yeah subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you don't miss out on uh, any more of these great videos all right these tidbits of information from real juicy news and uh enjoy the rest of your day or night wherever you are in the world